unprecedented state of affairs in the Central Bureau of Investigation, India's top investigating agency handling crucial cases like Vijay Malia and various others. Sunetra, what's happening today is unprecedented. The Prime Minister now apparently intervening. Tell us more. Well, that's right. The Prime Minister, we've been told, has decided because that's he is the one in charge. The CBI is autonomous. They report directly to uh, him. And that's why they have reported, they have summoned him. In fact, we are told that the CBI director has uh, met the Prime Minister already. That took place on Sunday. And also a meeting with uh, Rakesh Asthana so that the Prime Minister gets both sides very, very quickly and then decides whether he removes both of them or or he just removes one of them. What's tricky, of course, is the CBI director has a two-year tenure which only ends in January. And that is the major problem, whether to cut it short and how to do it. It's much easier to remove RK Asthana because he is the number two. And before the number two was also removed when he was controversially made the chief. What's also interesting, of course, are the arrests that's taken place. But first, let me just take you through these people who have become the dramatis personae, these key people. Who are they? actually well the, what's interesting about it is that RK Asthana, as the opposition calls him, is the blue-eyed boy uh, of the dispensation right now, the government right now. He had worked before this as key in key positions in Gujarat. He was Surat and Vadodara police chief. He was also in charge of the Gujarat probe into the Godra train burning case. Or not just that, he was also in charge of the SL Maxis and the Huda case because he was made in charge of the special investigative team that was taking all of this. He first, of course, made headlines in December 2016 when he was made interim chief. At that time, as I said, the number two was removed just overnight saying that he was being promoted and this actually went up to court. Not just that, in October 2017, exactly a year from now, the CBI director put his objections about his deputy public. He said that he shouldn't be promoted as special director, Rakesh Asthana shouldn't be promoted as special director because his name came up in the Sterling Biotech case. Of course, the CBC completely overlooked that and he was then made the, the special director and the number two in this particular case. What's also interesting now is, of course, the fact that right now he now faces the FIR by the CBI in allegations of Alok Varma of getting bribes of up to three crores. If we look at the person he's fighting with, his nemesis Alok Varma now, and what is his claim to fame. Well, Alok Verma, unlike Rakesh uh, Avasti, has been very, very low profile. He used to be the police chief of Delhi. He also used to be the Tihar director general. And unlike Rakesh Rastana, he has never really interacted with the media. He has always, always stayed away from the limelight. However, what's interesting about him is the fact that he fell out with Rakesh Astana over appointments by uh, over appointments in the CBI. So that's when the f fight first started when Rakesh Astana came into CBI and they had disagreements about who should be there. Then what happened was the promotion fight took place and Mr. Alok Verma put his objections to Rakesh Astana in writing. That's when that problem happened. And after that, the fight really started increasing. He removed him from crucial positions. He removed him from the SL Max's case. And the center also got very, very upset with the CBI director because he went ahead. He showed that he was quite autonomous. He went ahead and met opposition leaders like Arun Shori, like Yashwan Sinha, creating quite a problem with the government who said he shouldn't have behaved that way he shouldn't have done this of course now Rakesh Astana has also made allegations against Alok Verma and say and they say that he has taken two crores in bribes from the same person that is she uh, Satish Sana and that is the crux of this allegation that this person allegedly it's a he said versus what uh, Rakesh Astana, uh, Astana has said whose allegations will one believe what's also interesting in this entire thing is the fact that it's not just CBI or Enforcement Directorate. Now we have India's external agency, RNAW, get involved as well. And how it's actually happened is the naming of certain officials in this particular 
case in that same FIR that Rakesh Asthana was named, you have the names of other people, other officials as well who are being probed now by all these officials. The names that are coming out are Samant Goel. Now, Samant Goel, he is the number two in RNAW and his name popping up in the FIR has created that major problem. What they say is that accused in this, Rakesh Asthana is accused number one. Accused number two who has been arrested is Manoj Prasad, uh, Manoj Prasad and his brother Somesh Prasad. This picture that you're seeing on your screen right now, Somesh Prasad said he knows raw officer Samant Goel, which has created major problems for him. What's also very, very cu curious is that both Somesh and Manoj Prasad are actually sons of another raw officer, that's Dineshwar Prasad, who retired as director in the year 2000. So the entire raw uh, machinery getting involved in all of this, in fact, one of the reasons why the raw chief perhaps has also been summoned by the prime minister to talk about this entire matter. Just a little bit more about Somesh Prasad, who has become a key player in this, and he is actually on the run while Manoj Prasad is in custody. His Facebook profile shows that the investment banker from the Dubai is actually very friendly uh, with a lot of high profile people. His pictures include with uh, Baba Ramdev and other people like celebrities like Madhur Bhandarkar. In fact, NDTV got in touch with some of these government officials and other celebrities who were photographed with him. They said he was such a well-known person in Dubai that he attended all the parties. So it was a little difficult to avoid them. So these are all the people there and the CBI, the RNAW, all of them being probed. But the question now is, what will the Prime Minister decide? Will he remove just one of these officers, either Rakesh Asthana or Alok Barma or both of them?